Hi, Bruno here. Welcome to Spain Guru. How is living in Spain compared to the US? Let's see Spain Guru's community members' answers. Vastly prefer Spain. People are incredibly friendly, cost of living is much lower, great food, great wine, and 70 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny today. Next answer. After 10 years in Spain, I, having traveled back to the US, I can safely say that I will never go back to live in the USA again. I live in the Andalusian mountains, which is paradise for me. I own my own house, which costs peanuts to maintain and insurance and property tax are less than one tenth of what I paid in the US. I have solar panels and utilities are minor. People are very friendly, almost no crime. Pomegranates, oranges, lemons, persimmons, and figs grow wild. Nice answer. Don't get me started. Healthcare and no guns. Cafe culture, foods, wines, olives, cheeses, citrus. Weather, cost of living, safety, less traffic. High-speed trains, no broken bridges. Shall I go on? Be assured I can. Now, very long answer. Let's see what it is. Yes, we like it. We have been traveling and living around the world and decided to settle in Spain so our kids could attend high school. Above all, our kids are safe here. They aren't being shot at. They take the metro or bus to the school and it is safe. Food is better and cheaper. Healthcare is cheaper, 213 euros per month for a family of four. A big ha! But I called my broker to ask about adding dental insurance to my package. Her response was, Sandra, you already have dental insurance in your package. Dental health insurance for 213 a month. Wow. Tons of stuff to do here. Weekends are full. Every Friday we meet the kids in the city and pick a different restaurant. Good private schools. Though I must admit, if you need to send your kids to an American school, they can be really pricey. My kids attend a German-speaking school. Runs us about a thousand euros per child per month. Looked at the American school for curiosity. It was about 40,000 per year, I think. Not included in enrollment fee. Gas is expensive, but everything else is less. Maybe it's a wash. My kids have a transportation card that allows them to ride any train, metro or bus. The cost is 10 euros per month. They can safely run around the city and don't have to drive them. I love this because it teaches kids to use public transport from a young age. My kids are growing up with much less of a focus on materialism. They don't focus on brands and backpacks and Air Force Ones. Also, my kids have no expectation to drive 16, they can't anyway, even at 18, no one really has a car. When they go to university, it's unlikely they will have or even need a car, even we don't take the car much anymore. We also use a lot of public transport even though we own a car. The car goes mostly for grocery runs. My kids will later attend university somewhere in Europe. The cost is very, very low. My kids will gain citizenship while here. This will give them access to later work in the US or the EU. They also have passport from Latin America, which gives them access to Mercosur. The things I miss from the US, big parking spaces and tacos. And I miss, of course, my family. Next answer. Pros, very safe country, relaxed lifestyle, full bars and restaurants, kids free to run and play, huge families, weather history, sites, cheaper life, beautiful lush gardens and parks, great nature nearby where many people go for hiking and swimming, in the waterfalls and rivers. The cons, and friendly people, not rude, but not friendly either. Dog poop and garbage everywhere, bland fried food and too much meat, at least here in Valencia, flying sand, badly insulated apartments, no heating, temperatures can go down to 32 Fahrenheit, humidity all year, complete Bad lack of customer service, total lack of interest in anything that's not their immediate family and our surroundings. At least these are my observations and experiences. Next answer. We go back and forth. Just got back to the US after several months in Madrid and having sticker shock with restaurants and grocery stores. $10 for a glass of crap California wine is insulting. Then 20% tip on top of that. Te roban en la cara, as my Spanish wife often says. I would need to understand how to translate that. They steal you... I don't know. Next answer. We are a couple with young children in our earning years and there are some serious cons to be aware of to go with the pros. Lifestyle. Roughly, I find that our family of four lives pretty well. We have good friends, plenty of other families with kids and overall it's a 
pretty pleasant, if not a little bit boring sometimes life. Spain in general is miles behind the US in many ways, such as automation, daily conveniences, energy efficiency, really anything related to efficiency. The economy is simply more old school, though it's improved a bit post-COVID with digitization, digitization, etc. Customer service is really, really patchy. If you are the type of person who provides amazing customer service and demands the same, it will take quite a while to buffer your expectations. The US is the lands of choice, Spain is much simpler in general, this is what you make of it. Weather, we live in Estepona, in Malaga, and aside from some days of wind, rain, it's pretty nice all year round during the year, or during the day. Most everyday person houses are not built to provide any insulation in the winter, so it's far colder here at night in the house than in Chicago when it's minus 10 Fahrenheit. Weather events, Kalima, wildfires, are typical in these areas. Riptides are frequent on the coast as well, and few lifeguards. Research your area before you swim. Costs, food staples, alcohol, clothing staples, mobile phone plans, and normal restaurants are much cheaper here in Spain. I also found a good value on the car we purchased, versus what I would get in the US for the same type of car. Seat Leon versus Seat Honda Civic, not apples to apples, but close-ish. Anything related to energy, electric, gas, water, is much, much more expensive here, sometimes crazily so. Luxury and non-domestic items and brands from outside the EU are much more expensive than in the US from my experience. For instance, good Japanese food is crazy expensive compared to my local haunts back home, but there are lots of cheap places serving mostly farm salmon sashimi that is awful. One great Mexican food? Forget about it. Or learn to cook it at home. Home appliances, even light bulbs, are normally energy rated E or F. Compared to most other countries in Europe or the US, it is simply astounding how inefficient the standard appliances are here. Most home goods are bought at Chinese bazaar style stores that are super, super low quality, whereas the foreign made goods at, say, Target are a bit more expensive but vastly superior in quality. Little things, but they add up. Taxes are much, much higher here, and there are lots of regulations to remain compliant with when you file. Income tax and IVA, or value-added tax, are both through the roof, 21% VAT. The social security system for retirement is strained, but overall seems like a decent value, or roughly on par with US social security. Keep in mind that 401k IRA Roth accounts this really don't work the same way here at all, and there are other major drawbacks regarding finances hidden around every quarter. Medical care is hit and mix in the private and public systems. Living in a fairly seasonal area, there is a massive amount of turnover with doctors, and finding one that is here year-round and has a good mix of bedside manners and medical skills is tough. In general, I find the system okay for no more things, but if you have a serious long-term medical issue and great insurance in the US, then that system is going to treat you better. If you don't have great insurance in the US, then these systems work well. It's cheap to get private medical insurance to supplement the often slow public system. You will only get access to the public system if you qualify, by working for a Spanish company, for instance. There is plenty more to talk about, but that's a start. I would say that more than a start, that's a great, great answer. Very, very much detail. Wow, really good. Next answer. No trampers, healthcare, cost of living, quality of life, fresh food, 2,000 plus common US ingredients, illegal here and in most of Europe, safety, history, trains, wine, there is so much. Our apartment is really badly insulated. That's a small price to pay for not worrying about money, health or safety. It is impossible to compare. US is above all the other countries. Spain is a century behind. Weather is good, but so in Florida. Food is good, but also many places in the US. If you don't speak Spanish, big problem. You have to have patience of a turtle, otherwise things do not happen or may not happen at all. It's great for vacation or for short time living. Next answer. California wines can be great, notwithstanding. We have a house in the country in Valencia State. I can only go for short periods as I am still working in the US. We have been a great extended family in Spain and that's what I love best. 
The people had been great, I love the food, the wine of course, the roads are well maintained, the weather is great, although the summer was unbearably hot last year. Traveling back and forth is hard and expensive, but it's worth it. I get to live two completely different lives. The history is everywhere. Medical issues are a fraction of the US. Having a medical exam and getting a prescription filled cost me less than my co-pays in the US. I wish I could be there full time. Next, there are things I miss about the US, but for each thing I miss, there are 10 things I do not. Short, but to the point. Next, it depends on what you value. In my 20s and 30s, I loved Spain and never thought I would leave. I lived in Barcelona for 20 years. Now, as I get close to 50, I'm enjoying the US way more. Spain was amazing when I wanted to drink in life and live the moment. Now I feel want things to work well and everything is better quality in the US. It's definitely more expensive, but I make more and pay less taxes. Next answer. After being in Valencia a month and a half, I would say my major con is the lack of privacy. Living so close to so many people can be a bit difficult to get used to if you're coming from a house. My second con would be houses do not seem to exist inside major cities, at least not close to the central areas. Next answer. Both countries have their pros and cons. If you want to know what they may be for you, pick a city or two and take a long-term trip. If you can stay long enough in one place for the newness to wear off, then that will help even more. It's a fine place to live, but so is the US and a lot of our places. Next answer. Oh yes, people are so close-minded. It hurts. Nothing is of their interest unless it affects their tapas, their mood times and family. In conclusion, Based on the responses from members of Spain Group Facebook group, the experience of living in Spain compared to the US can vary greatly depending on the individual. However, some common themes that emerge include the relaxed lifestyle, great food, wine and weather in Spain, as well as the lower cost of living and high safety level. Additionally, the healthcare system, lack of gun culture and cafe culture are also highly valued by expat living in Spain. However, some respondents also noted the lack of friendliness of some people and the issues of dog poop and garbage on the street. Additionally, they mentioned the challenge of dealing with unfriendly customer service and lack of interest in anything that's not their immediate family and surroundings. They also mentioned the lack of insulation of apartments and the humidity all year. Ultimately, it seems that the decision to live in Spain as opposed to the US will depend on individual preferences, needs and priorities. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of the new content that we upload to the video. And if you need expert advice, just go on spainguru.es, you will find immigration lawyers, you will find also tax experts if you need to file taxes in Spain and also in the USA. You will find also relocation services in Spain, apostille services from the US, sworn translators and health insurances when you apply for no lucrative visa, when you apply for a golden visa, student visa, you will need health insurances as well. And we also offer a certificate of good health for the UK residents. And also if you need to go back to the States and you need a health insurance, we also offer those health insurances too. And of course, if you want to be part of a community, please join our Facebook group, uh, Spain Immigration and Residency Questions, Yes. Uh, with more than 16,000 members where you can ask any single question related to Spanish uh, immigration issues and you can do it also anonymously. You can also join our non-lucrative visa group with more than 800 members, our Spanish digital nomad visa group. Very important, last but not least, please subscribe to our newsletter. You can opt out anytime. We send this newsletter every single Monday morning and we feature top discussions on our community and uh, any news related to Spanish immigration. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you a great day. This is Bruno from SpainGuru.es. Goodbye.